We're at CCW, the big Halloween extravaganza. And you can't have a Halloween extravaganza or CCW extravaganza without Rachel Ellering hey. it's on the show. Rachel, just what was it like being here again at CCW? You've been here before and just this, this journey that you've been on now, I guess 11 months that you've been here. 11 months? I'm creeping up on a year. I'm, I'm a vet almost. <laughs> it's been, for one, the 11 months has been absolutely amazing. I mean, I've been dreaming of doing this for so long. So to do it in as many different places that I've done already, it's so awesome. And then to be back at CCW tonight, awesome crowd, awesome show. Great the crowd loves lineup. you. I love the crowd, so it was it was as much fun for me as it was for them to watch it. I, it was a blast. Got the W. I got I got to hold beefcake scissors. You guys, my 16 year old wrestling nerd self was very excited in that moment. So very cool to shave somebody's head. Did a little reverse mohawk. Uncle Hawk probably enjoyed that moment. So it, it was a blast. It was a blast being back here. That was the thing because Bruce the Barber Beefcake was a special guest tonight. Yeah. He had the shears, and it was a hair versus hair match. You came out the victor. And then the the person that was in the corner of Chelsea Durden, who was causing all the chaos, all the havoc, he's the one that ends up getting the hair shaved. Brutus the Barber Beefcake, you got in there. Bruce Owens, our referee, got to do a little yeah. shaving too. So this was like a really cool moment. We all got a piece of the action. It was <laughs> I've never got to do anything like that, so that was just a blast. I don't know when I'll get to do it again either. So I'll remember this one for the rest of my life. <laughs> You've been doing so much. You just did a Ring of Honor show yeah. right here in Fort Lauderdale at the War Memorial Auditorium, which yeah. I always say is a great place to have a show like that. Awesome venue. Yeah. What was it like working for Ring of Honor and now putting that on the list? That was a dream for me. I have watched Ring of Honor for so long. And for one, so I'm a big Christopher Daniels fan, and I got to meet him and talk with him for a while. I did an STO in my match, and I was on the same show as Christopher Daniels. And so that was just a highlight for me. And then just to be in front of a great crowd like that, working a great girl, Kennedy's great. Uh, my first time ever at Ring of Honor, hopefully not the last, but awesome experience, something I'll never, ever forget, and everybody should check it out. What's it been like? You've got a couple spots that you've been able to do so far for NXT. Yeah. Just what was that like and being involved with the people there? Sure, yeah. It's been a great experience. I, I've had three matches now. Uh, I've been at six or seven tapings, though, and I learn so much every time I'm there. Anytime you get to sit and listen to William Regal or Terry Taylor or Triple H, it just blows my mind that I have the opportunity to do that less than a year in. And, you know, for example, something they stress so much there is presentation and your entrance. Where at a smaller show like this, you know, I just walk out and I do whatever. I feel I get to do where there you know you have your spots and you're on a ramp and you have your Tron and so it's a production and so every time I'm there I just am a sponge and I try to soak it in and hey I've got to have three matches every time I learn so much that full sale crowd is awesome so hopefully I get to be back Rachel, you're very grounded but I, I want you to answer this okay how do you keep yourself grounded you've done so much in a year's time and I know obviously there's more you want to do yeah so much more. How do you keep grounded in all this so far? Yeah, this is the tip of the iceberg. There's, I have a list of a million miles long of stuff I want to do, and I want to do this for as long as I can in as many different countries with many different people and crowds and companies that I can do it for. Um, grounded wise, man, this has been my dream since I was a little girl, and so me being out here, it's it's a dream come true, and I'm the most. I'm the luckiest person on the planet, really. I, that's why when I'm out there, everyone's like, you're always smiling, and I jokingly get call, called Queen of Strong Smile. I'm like, yeah, it's true. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. I'm never happier than when I'm in a ring. And so I, it's just me. I'm just, I'm lucky. I, I'm learning. I'm loving it. And hopefully good stuff's coming in the future. We're going to wrap this up. Sure. Halloween's right around the corner, Rachel. Yeah. Favorite or best Halloween costume Rachel Ellering has worn? Uh, while I was at university, I think it was my sophomore year, I dressed up as Lita, who's my all-time favorite, and one of the reasons I wanted to be a wrestler. And so that, that was not half bad. <laughs> and the last question for you, Rachel. Yeah. Make you're always good. hydrating. Oh, You've always, always got hydrating. that big bottle of this water with you. This is why before my matches, I have to go to the bathroom 17 times because I have a gallon a day. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth it. Gotta stay hydrated. Thank you, Rachel. You're welcome. Thank you.